Hello everybody and welcome back, this is SkiDude and it's time for a somewhat unique tutorial and that is going to be the tutorial on how to install Minimator on your Mac. Now it did take a little bit of troubleshooting for me and there are a couple setbacks for it um, but those you're just going to have to live with because that's how it's working. Now um, there are better ways to do this than the one I'm using so like if you had uh, parallels or you can um, you can actually partition part of your Mac hard drive um, to run a Windows environment so that if, even if you don't have a PC you can still I guess what I mean by partition is for those of you who don't know you can pretty much like cut a chunk of your hard drive out form um, and by cut, I don't mean with the real knife, but kind of segregate it from the rest of your hard drive, and you can install Windows on that, so you can actually run Windows on your Mac. Now, I'm not going to go on a, on a tutorial on how to do that, but if you did that, you could run Minimator without having to go through all this coding that I'm about to do in order to get it to run on the Mac side. Um, so that's an option if you do have access to Parallels or to, uh, to, to just like a Windows install disk, you can use Boot Camp to partition your hard drive. Anyway, what I'm going to be using is called Wine. I've never used it before, this is the first day using it, and it did take a, a little while for me to finally get it to work. However, I did get it to work, and like I said, there are some setbacks. And the first setback I'm going to note is um, that it does run slow. You're only going to get about 20% frame rate, if that. So it's going to be a, it's going to feel laggy, it's going to feel slow, and that's just something you're going to have to deal with currently until an official Mac version can be released later in the year. Um, secondly, you're not going to be able to render on your Mac. Now if you do it on the parallels and when you're actually running Windows you will be able to, but if you're trying to render it through Wine on your Mac side, it's not going to work. So you can kind of do all your animating and all those things, but you're not going to be able to render it. You still will have to copy it to a thumb drive and take it to a PC to render it. Um, that's just what you're gonna have to deal with, but um, I just thought I would do the video on how to actually get it going for those of you that are just dying to see it on a Mac. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is of course download it. So I downloaded it, I renamed the folder just to Minimator under, um, all lowercase. Let me open this up, you can see all the animations, Crash Forsters 2, other schematic skins, everything's here and I did rename it to mine.exe just for ease of typing in the, the name. So that's on my desktop, it's the easiest place to find things and then I also have this text document with uh, just a different couple different commands and the first one I'm going to show you is not actually a command but the website I used to install Wine, and of course the link for this will be in the description below. So before, I guess you keep watching the video, you're going to want to pause this, pause the video and install Wine, and that could take upwards of probably one to three hours depending on how fast your Mac is. It took my little MacBook probably about two hours to install Wine, um, it could take longer, it could take less. But uh, this, uh, this tutorial was very helpful to, and it walked me through the whole thing. So the first thing you have to have is Xcode. If you don't have that installed, he goes over different places you can find to install it. If you still have your installation CD, you can go to the um, App Store and download it. Um, after that's all done and you have Xcode, you, can, you need to download um, Mac ports. Now the version of Mac ports is going to defend, is going to depend on what version of, I guess, the Mac environment you're running. I'm running one of the older ones because I don't want to pay for the new ones. And, uh, however, I did first download the wrong one and it told me it was the wrong one, so it, it won't let you install the wrong one. So if you get the wrong one, just keep trying and downloading the other ones. Next uh, becomes probably where it gets most complicated, especially for people that have never used the terminal or even know what it is. And the terminal is this lovely window here. Uh, if you've never used it before, it's pretty much like manually going through your computer. So right there I use the command ls and that lists all the files and folders in the current directory that I'm in. So you can see there's one labeled desktop, so I'm going to go cd desktop, which cd stands for change directory, so now I'm in the desktop. If I do ls, you're going to see there's the Minimator folder and the, the uh, text document. So if I go even further into cd Minimator, um, and do an ls. Now you're going to see all the stuff that's there. You can see the mine.exe, the skins folder, the schematics, the other, and all those things there. Um, and that just takes me back. So I'm going to clear all that. And that's just going to show you how the terminal works. So the f 
I'm not going to put these in because I've already installed it. But uh, w when you're inputting these commands, I know he says include the dollar sign at the beginning. But for me, I had to exclude the dollar sign at the beginning on all of these commands. Um, it may work for you. It may not. Um, so when I copied them, I just left out the dollar sign. Um, but he does go step by step and how to get this all running and how to install Wine and how long it's going to take. Um, so I guess pause the video and install Wine. So now, once you've installed Wine, um, we need to install MyNimator. However, MyNimator is, is a little bit unique because David doesn't actually have an install.exe. He just gives you the program so you don't have to install it. And so we kind of have to, to skip this step here, part four, because we're, we don't actually have to install it. What we need to do is we need to copy my, the MyNimator folders into your program files that Wine installs for you. And that's going to involve uh, the terminal. So first, let me show you exactly where things are found. So I, I copied this. This is from that website. Let me show you where. Uh, it's just right here. That's the path to get to where Wine is installed. So if I just paste that in there and go, hit LS, you're going to see the folder MyNimator because I've already copied it in there and had it running. So if I go CD MyNimator, oops, got to spell it right. Okay, we're in here. Now if I just go Wine. Now, here's another thing. This is going to tell you to run it. You're going to do Wine space um, dollar sign program.exe. So it would be Wine space dollar sign uh, minimator.exe. However, for me, I got it, it wouldn't work when I tried to do it that way. So I just did wine, wine space mine.exe. Give it a minute to think, depending on how fast your Mac is, will depend on how quick it opens it. You can see something has started to happen. Uh, okay, it's still thinking. Okay, whoop, we're getting some more stuff and you are gonna see some errors. Oh man, and what is this? What is this you say? Well, it's Minimator on the Mac. So let me show you, I guess, exactly what I mean by slow. So when I click add character, and it sounds like somebody's breaking into my house, but that's the people above me uh, slamming something on the floor. So you could kind of see there, it was very slow. So let me go ahead and just click a keyframe here. Click a keyframe here. Uh, click back on this keyframe. Let's see if we can get the walk animation to work. Uh, two finger click, create walking animation to next frame, press play, and voila! <laughs> and you'll see here, I'm running at 12%, ooh, even, oh, I'm even getting lower, so I'm, I'm running about 10% frame rate. So it's going to be very laggy, which is unfortunate, but uh, if this is what you got to do, this is what you got to do, and you're just going to have to get used to it. Um, and if you do end up... I guess this is kind of a random tip that doesn't deal with this, but people that are using screen capturing um, software to record their animations because for some reason the render won't work, if you click these little locks here, one right there, one right there, you can give it a second, it actually takes everything away. And so when you screen capture, you're not going to have these the wonderful bars. Um, so anyway, that that just kind of proves that I did get it to run and I'm not lying. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it and I'm not going to save. Okay, so it just shows a bunch of errors, which is fine. Okay, so, oops, got to click back in here, so clear. All right, so we're still in this Windows folder. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to copy the Minimator into uh, the other, into the Windows folder. So all you're going to do is use the command CP, which stands for copy. So first of all, I would suggest putting the Minimator folder on your desktop, because um, that's going to be the easiest way to find it. So if I do CP space dash R, I believe it is, um, and that just stands for copy a folder, not just an individual file, I need to put the path of what I need to copy. So I'm going to go squiggly users. Uh, oops test user uh, desktop and it's all lowercase mine immature so 
So I think this is where I messed up. So I'm just going to CD to the desktop. Um, so I'm going to go... Alright, so the problem there was that um, I, there's an easier way to do this. So what I've done is I'll just go back to... Um, if you do CD at any time, it takes you back to just kind of the default area. And uh, so I'm going to CD, change directory, into my desktop ls to show the the files and you can see the folder minimator so i'm actually going to uh just do it from here i'm going to go p cp dash r minimator make sure i'm spelling all that correct space command v let's go back here okay and then I'm going to give it a folder name, mine. Okay, and that time it worked. So let's uh, CDN to there. Let's do an LS. And now you can see there is a mine folder. And if I go CD mine, LS, okay, everything's here. So let's try it one more time. Wine, mine, mine.exe. And uh, let's try it out. Okay, starting to think, starting to think. Will it work? Will it work? And yes, it will work. Almost. Don't get ahead of yourself, ski dude. Maybe. Maybe not. Oop. See, it <laughs> doesn't work every time. Um, so we'll close that. Try it. Oops. Let's try it one more time. Ls. My. Oops. Wine. Space. Mine.exe. Okay. That time it worked. So, just trial and error here. Trial and error. So, we're just going to clear all this jumbly. Just typing clear. We're going to go back to directory. Um, okay, so I, I technically have two two folders now where I can run my animator from. So let's say, okay, well, I want to... Uh, I want so let's say you've done an animation and now you want to, um, you want to save the, the files. Uh, let's see. So let's go into animations. Uh, there's disco. Let's go into disco. Okay, so we want to, so let's say we wanted to um, we wanted to take disco out to our desktop so that we could throw it on a thumb drive. We're going to use the same thing except we can either we can either copy it or we can move it. I would suggest just copying it so that you don't lose your file just in case. So we're going to go CP space uh, let's see what is it disco except we, we want to make sure to do the dash R so that it takes the whole folder disco and then I need to tell it where to go and uh, I guess what I ended up doing one of the commands in terminal is dot dot that means going up a file directory so uh, let's just see here if, if I do pwd it shows me where I am so I need to go up to my animator I need to go up to program files I need to go up to drive C and I need to go up to wine so that's four apps so if I'm gonna go back into the animation oops Let's, okay, so we're going to go CP dash R disco. Uh, so we said four ups, so there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Press enter. All right, so let's go there ourselves. We just do CD one, two, three, four. We do LS. Oh, we need to go back one more, so we're going to go CP dash R disco. Da, dot dot that okay let's do it ourselves ls and you can see there is now a disco there so we're actually going to move oh actually oh so we, we just did a cd uh, let's see cd, cd wine so i i copied so i actually left the disco folder in there so i'm going to go rm sr disco ls okay that just deleted it anyway you don't need to do any of that 
All right, back here we are. So we have the disco. We're going to actually use the MV, which stands for move. So I'm going to go MV uh, dash R disco. And we're going to type desktop. Oh, maybe that doesn't work. Uh, let's just try MV disco desktop. LS. All right, let's go into the CD. First of all, let's clear this. So you're not having to stare at the bottom. Uh, CD desktop LS. And what do you know? If we pull this open, there's here's Disco. And you can now take this over and render it. So, I have probably confused and destroyed a lot of your hope <laughs> for a lot of people on getting this to work. Uh, just rewatch the video. Um, I guess at the end of the video, I'll leave a, I'll leave a list of commands uh, that I used and kind of explain them a little bit more. So hopefully you can follow along. But essentially, to copy things out, you're going to use the cp-r if you're copying a folder. If it's just an individual file, you would just do cp space whatever it is. And in this case, I did cp-r disco, meaning the folder, and I sent it up four directories using the dot dot slash. And I actually needed to go five because I needed to get out of the dot wine. However, if you accidentally do that, just come in here and do it again. Um, with one more dot dot and it should work for you or you can do like I did and hunt it down and move it uh, manually So if that hasn't confused you and uh, just made life a little bit more darker than you then I guess I haven't succeeded in this tutorial <laughs> um, But no, like I said, it does require some understanding of how the terminal works and how kind of the basic commands work like CD LS CP uh, I think and MV because I did move it um, so yeah Google is your best friend if you if you can't follow along my tutorial with the certain commands go ahead and Google the command and like I said if you do have a problem you can um, comment below I will try my best to help you troubleshoot it however this can get complicated and it may just be too complicated for me to help so if that uh, I'll try my best Anyway, this, uh, this video is uh, pushing onward and we need to cut it off. So this is Skidoo. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you haven't already. Like this video, comment if you have questions, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Peace.